Kelly Slater, wow, what a star. An 11 time world surfing champion, the GOAT by the length of the straight. When I was growing up, my first experience seeing Kelly Slater was when he was on Baywatch as Jimmy Slade alongside Pamela Anderson, the Hoff. I love the show. That's how I first got into surfing. Kelly though, he doesn't look back on his Baywatch times all that fondly, it must be said. One final thing to explore with you, and that's, <coughs> that's the theme of fame. You went on, I don't know how long ago it was, my first understanding of who Kelly Slater was, and you'll shake your head at this, the young bloke growing up in the country, was when you were on Baywatch as Jimmy Slade? Is it Jimmy Slade? Yep. Jimmy Slade. Yep. And that was the first thing I thought when I saw that. I was like, wow, it'd be cool to learn to surf. I grew up in the country, there was no surfing. And that was sort of what sparked it in me. When you went on that as Jimmy Slade, which was a worldwide show, it was the biggest show in the world, David Hasselhoff, et cetera, et cetera. How did that change your level of fame in your general day-to-day -day life? Yeah. Um, because I, I guess... I, I, I noticed I, it more in other countries. I, I noticed it more in other countries, not so much like at home or whatever, you know? Because, I mean, look, we shot that thing in L.A., yeah, and um, uh, and it it wasn't winning awards. Um, you know but what I mean? It was so, fantastically so, popular, though. It doesn't have to be yeah, a win yeah. awards to be good. No, I know. But what I'm saying is, like, it wasn't like some giant hit. Okay. Uh, it, it, it maybe like it maybe wasn't in America what it was overseas. You know what I mean? So Which it was like massive. the number one. They say it was the number one here. show in the world. Yeah, well, it was but, enormous in Australia. Yeah, I, I don't think it was in America. I mean, guys tuned in to try to see chicks on it or whatever, but it was, um, <laughs> in all honesty, I was embarrassed I was on the show. Why? Um, I don't know. I wasn't comfortable with it because I wanted to be a world champion surfer. I wasn't trying to be um, a movie star or a TV actor or something, you know? That wasn't really, that wasn't my goal in life. And my manager, my then manager, wanted me to be a movie star and an, and an actor. And he, would, he was trying anything he could to kind of coax me into going that direction. And he used to tell people, you know, someday people are going to remember Kelly Slater that he, that he used to surf before his career happened. Ooh. And I was like, this guy, this guy, you know. And, and um, it used to piss me off when he said that. And, and it actually, it, it, it quickened the time it took me to quit the show, which was in the second season. And, um, and uh, you know, it was, a, it was a, yeah, that was like a kind of a coming of age moment for me because my mom really wanted me to do the show and be on the show. And that was, that was one time when, um, when I was younger, my mom was happy with me just surfing and doing all that. But then when I was on that show and I quit and I told my mom and she got really upset with me. She's like, you don't know what's right for you and your future. You don't know what your future holds and that kind of thing. And I was like, no, I know what my future holds. I want to be a world champ. Like, that's my thing. Like I was already once and like, I'm going to go do it again. But the second year I was on the show, I lost the world title and I was distracted by a lot of things and a whole bunch of weird things in my life happened that year. And and that was part of like writing the ship was to get off the show for me, for what I wanted, you know? And it, and I look back at it now and it's funny because I, I, I copped a lot of shit from people for being on that show in the surf world. They're like, Oh, it's so goofy and whatever. And they'd make fun of my name and all that kind of stuff. And then I started realizing the years after that, every time any kind of show or TV thing or movie or whatever popped up, people were like running over each other to get it. And I was like, oh, man, like, I didn't even want to be there. Um, but so a lot, I think a lot of people are giving me crap about it. And I was kind of, I was just insecure about it, you know. I was like, yeah, I, I'm, I know I'm not like some great actor. And I probably blew my lines. And I look kind of silly having a character with a name pretty close to mine. And, um, you know, I didn't want, I said, I wanted him either to, to make the character be me, myself, yep. as a surfer, or complete, or have the name not anywhere close and um they named it they named the character jimmy slade because of jimmy's jimmy z which was a clothing company in the surf world ah. jimmy and then and then the guy wanted it to be like 
some kind of rela something relatable for me. So he, the guy who named my character, thought, "Oh, I would, Kelly would really like this." So he didn't do it in, for any other reason but that. But like he felt he he saw a connection to surfing through Jimmy's Jimmy Z, and then thought it would be close to my name. So, um, but I I think I was uncomfortable with it too, be, just because I I wanted to just surf and I didn't want to do that, and I. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> when I went for the casting to to get on the show, which I mean, if I if I was smart about it, I wouldn't even gone to the casting. But I <laughs> I went to the casting and I did such a bad job. I kept I, I was uh, real nervous. I remember like sweating in the in the in the casting and like forgetting my lines and like reading like reading lines and forgetting them because I was so nervous. And then I, I walked out of there and I was like, oh, I did so bad. There's no way they're going to pick me anyway. So it's all good. And, and then I was kind of <laughs> happy. And then, and then I got the call, like, I don't know, a few weeks later, like, hey, they loved you. They want you on the, I'm like, man, how bad is this show going to be if they thought I was good? <laughs> good on you, legends, for watching the Howie Games YouTube channel. Love that you are getting involved in the channel and the show. If you want to hear the full episode of any of the podcasts from the clips you've been watching, just check out the link in the description. It will take you straight there. Now, if you would like to subscribe to the official Howie Games YouTube channel, which would be really cool, just click on the button right there and you will be a member of this community. There are so many other clips, as you can see just here, excerpts from the show with all sorts of superstar athletes. So check those out as well. Thank you again so much for joining us on the Howie Games YouTube channel. And as always, peace and love.